Hi, my name is Dario Rios and here I am with another tutorial for the Coursera course, an interactive program for Python and this time we're going to talk about the train set block. To begin with, we're going to the cool sculptor and see how this works with an ensemble. So here we are at sculptor again and there is some code that I have wrote and here we import a simple GUI and let's see what this code does. First of all, it creates a frame with a title that's going to try me with numbers. It creates an input, and the input says enter only a number, please, and start the frame. Then here there is a handler for the input that says enter a number, and it takes the number that comes from the input, may a cast, and print the number. So let's run the code to see how this works. Okay, here's my frame. And it says enter on a number, please. So I will enter a five, and it works. Let's try with a ten. All right, it works. Simple and well. But what's happening in a tricky user, and I don't care what the input set and I put something like a word let's say hi let's see what happened I press enter and oh no that's not supposed to happen but yes it will happen because the handle is trying to make a cast of something that is not a number so when he tries to make that cast and find that the word was hi a non-expected number it, it it sends an error so for this issue related to the user interface and for other issues not related to user interface we can validate some behaviors in the code to avoid that our programs crash so uh, we're gonna talk about the use of try and accept block so here we are at the presentation again and we're going to talk about the try and accept block. First of all, we have two keywords, the try and the accept. To define the try, you have to put try, column, and inside the try you will put some code. Normally the code that you expect it to execute well. It, 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 it is an exception inside the try code it will skip the code that is in the try and if it gets on me an error it will go to the accept block and depending on the exception time he will do some code for the error in any case there is no exception the try will execute normally and it will skip the exit block. So there are different types of exception, but for this tutorial, we're going to talk about five types of exceptions. There is a value error, a runtime error, a type error, a name error, and a zero division error. And now we are going to go sculptors to see what we can do. So here we are the code again and we are very worried because the tricky user will come back and try to crash or, or program again. So we're going to fix that. First of all, we're going to put the keyboard try with the column. And this will be the code that I want to stay in, in the inside the try. So here at the end, I will put an accept with a color. Okay? And inside the accept, I will print you must enter a valid number. Okay? And it's very important, and I forgot to tell you that you must put uh, the word return in order that an accept block finished. So here we go. 
Let's run the code again. It is by Frank. As you can see, with numbers, nothing changed. It's worked well for a 5, for a 7, for a 6. But here comes the tricky user again, and he put this program don't work with strings. So let's put enter, and as you can see, when when the implementation of the try and accept block, even if there is an error in the cast in the try, the accept was able to handle the exception and print a value that tells that the user can enter a valid has enter, hasn't entered a valid number and may a return. So the next time that the tricky user tried to put something like letters on the string, it will send the same message to it. Now, here is another example. Let's say that I want to specify what whatever will be. So I will use a value error. And I will explain you why. If I command the try for a while, we are exactly at the beginning. We run a grunt code. As you can see, in the tricky user comes and put a high. It tells me there is a value error, and the argument high is not a valid literal. So here is the explanation for for the except that is given. When I put only the word except, what I am doing to the handler is telling that he can handle all kind of exception. But I could be more specific and tell to the system to the program there is a value error here. So what I'm going to do is uncomment this again. And the only thing that changed is that I had to tell to the program that it's a ball error that we have here. Let's run the code again. Uh, here comes the tricky user again, and the tricky user put this one don't work with numbers. It worked the same way. But in this case, we had specified that the except for this code in the case that the user don't put a number, will be a value error. So, resuming what we had to do with this example, a value error raised when a billing operation or function receives an argument that has the right type but an appropriate value. In this case, what we had seen is a casting error that was handled by the exception of the, of the value error. Another example is a zero division error. Like his name says, a zero division error raised when the second argument on a division and model operation is zero. Let's see an example. So here we are across culture again. And this time I had an empty blank. So what I'm going to do is to write some code. First of all, I'm going to define a function. I call uh, the function divide by zero. And it will receive two parameters, x and g. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is to define a local variable called result. And in result, I will do x by g. And return, and not necessary. So I will call the function by by zero and I will send five and zero. As you can see my expectation for this function is that it will give me a zero division error. As you can see here is my zero division error and it says the division or model is by zero. So I'm gonna do validation using a try and exception block. And you try Get to that alimentation here, 
and Excel. By now, this is an open question for the instructors of the course, for Joey and Stephen and John and Scott. It seems that I can use the section type cell revision error here in Cascolter. But it exists, just to know. So it, probably this will give me an error. And I will say, oh my god, I can buy, buy zero. Okay? And return. So. As you can see, what I had here is a name error. Because this name division error is not defined. So th this is something that uh, I tell like an open question for the instructors. I hope that they can help us with, with this. But you can always use the except. Now we have the an any kind of exception. And I just use the word or the keyword except. It will print this when he tries to divide by zero. Okay. But you see, it take the it take the way of the accept block and handle my error. 